This video will describe the term partner within AgResult feedlot software. We also show you how to create and then how to view data from a partner. So partner is just a term that effectively means a person or a group of people that can be linked to your um, lot or your ration within AgResult. So I'm going to begin by creating a new partner and I'm just going to show you the different types of partners that can be chosen. You can pause the video and read these, but I'm going to talk through them um, to describe them in a little more detail. So first we're going to look at Cattle Feeder and Livestock Company. Cattle Feeder is a partner that can be tied to a lot. So this could be a person's name that um, describes a backgrounder or someone that fed the cattle before they got to your facility. And Livestock Company is a group that you've purchased the, the animals from. Essentially, when you create a lot, you're able to choose these two two people that are either or that are the cattle feeder and the livestock company to distinguish those two pieces of information for that lot. This then historically lets you sh look at all the lots that came from the, this cattle feeder or this livestock company to look at the closeout and say, hey, who is giving me good cattle, who is giving me bad cattle, and either continue or um, stop the relationship if you uh, determine something is needed to be done with that. Um, and then customer is also a, a partner that is linked to a lot and that is just as defined as a partner that you are custom feeding for or someone else owns these animals. This is important historically so you can see all the lots that you've fed for a certain customer to organize them or it's also even more important for invoicing so the system allows you to generate invoices on a let's call it monthly basis um, and this makes it really easy if you have a customer here because you're able to say for a certain time period so let's call it the month of March I want to see all data from a customer certain customer call them customer a I want to see all data for that customer and when you generate that invoice the invoice will include all feed costs for that customer which might span multiple lots so it's just a quick way to say hey choose one customer and with one click you have the full report of the customers invoice nutritionist is the fourth partner type and that's a nutritionist um, that would get tied or linked to the rations that you create in the system so when you create a ration you choose the the nutritionist that either created that ration for you or gave you that ration uh, analysis for you to keep history of it. Um, this is just another historical tool for you to f to look at a ration and know where it came from. It also would then let you you know create your own rations if there were simple rations or a hay ration or something. You didn't pay a consultant to build for you so instead you would create a uh, nutritionist or, or you would not choose a nutritionist on that ration and then that would tell you where the ration came from. So I'm going to create a nutritionist. I'm going to call, call um, I'm going to call this nutritionist B and I'm going to create this and then I'm going to scroll to the bottom. I'm going to show you that it just got created. Um, and then I'm going to switch gears from nutritionist. I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to choose who I know. John Doe 41 is a cattle feeder and I'm going to show you what this shows us. So John Doe 41 is a cattle feeder partner and this then shows you that all of the lots which I have six I have seven lots here that were um, all linked to John Doe 41 he was a cattle feeder and this will show us our closeouts and some of these may be on feed some of this may be test data so like this one's crazy so this one obviously is one this is an outlier we can avoid that um, this is test data so I expect some of it to be a little bit out of this world but you know if let's say we had 30 closeouts here and we could tell we we're in the same range we have a really tight cost to gain price to gain average daily gain everything looks really good this might be a partner you want to continue working with if the average daily gain is one and a half or something on 150 days on feed you know you might want to stop that or address it in some way um, so this just gives you a clean history of all things grouped to this to this lot all lots grouped to this cattle feeder um, the same thing would happen if we can find a livestock company that has um, has some information. You would see all of the lots of that livestock company. And customers, same story. I think customer 57. No. So this doesn't have any data because it's in test. But if you were to have this customer that had lots, you would see all of its lots listed here, just like we did for the customer cattle.